What's that sound? That is the sound of the wind blowing. Our story today is called The Wind Blew. It's written and illustrated by Pat Hutchins. She wrote the words and she made the pictures. Look at the cover of our story. What do you see? Yep, yeah. I see people and I see things blowing away in the sky. Those people look like they're trying to reach them. Take a look at the back cover of our story. There's more to the picture. There are more people chasing things that have blown away. The wind blew. Here's our title page. The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. Published by Aladdin Paperbacks. Look at this picture. Is it a windy day? How can you tell? Look closely. Yes, the trees are bending over and some of their leaves are falling off. They're blowing away in the wind. It must be a very windy day. Not a light breeze, but a big wind. Maybe lots of gusts of wind. those. These are the little seeds that are on trees sometimes. The story is written for someone named Mark. It says for Mark. That's who the author made this book for. She made it for us to read too, but she dedicated it to Mark. Here it is. Here's the man. What is he holding? Mm -hmm. An umbrella. It doesn't seem to be raining very much, but it's very windy. And the words say, the wind blew. If he's holding that umbrella and the wind is blowing, what do you predict is going to happen to that umbrella? I think so too. Over here, we also see a girl and she has a balloon. It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. Sometimes when it's very windy and the wind blows inside the umbrella, it snaps it inside out and breaks it. He loses his umbrella to the wind. And over here we see the little girl. She's watching, holding on to her balloon. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. There we go. The wind has now taken two things, the umbrella and the balloon from Mr. White and Priscilla. Yes, Scarlet, that's Mommy's name. What do we see over here in this little sneak -a peek It's a bride and a groom. They are watching the wind take these things. What do you suppose the wind is going to do to them? Let's see. 
and not content it took a hat and still not satisfied with that. That means that the wind wasn't so happy just taking one thing, it wanted to take the hat too. So now it has the umbrella, the balloon, and the hat. And way over here we have our little sneak -a peek What do you see? It's a boy and he has a kite. What do you think's gonna happen to that kite? I think so too. I whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. So now it has, say it with me, the umbrella, the balloon, the hat, and now the kite. They're all chasing their things. And who is watching? It's a lady. And what is she doing here? Yes, she's hanging her laundry on the laundry line. And we know that when we see a sneak -a peek like that, it's giving us a clue. What do you think is going to happen to the lady's laundry? There it goes. It's blowing away. It grabbed the shirt left out to dry and tossed it upward to the sky. There it is. Now we have an umbrella, a balloon, a hat, a kite, and a shirt. And watching from the side is a lady. She's watching everybody chase their things. And what does she have that perhaps maybe the wind wants? We talked about this before. Does anybody know what that's called? It's like a tissue. It's a hang. Yes, a handkerchief. She's blowing her nose on her handkerchief. It plucked a hanky from a nose. Hanky is kind of like a nickname for handkerchief. It plucked a hanky from a nose and up and up and up it rose. Now she lost her hanky. So now the wind has the umbrella, the hat, the balloon, the kite, the shirt, and the hanky. And they're all trying to get their things and they just can't get it. It's way too windy. And who over here is watching? What is he called? He's called a judge. Now he has a couple things that maybe the wind might want to take. He has this scroll in his hand and he's wearing this wig on his head. Which thing do you think the wind is going to take? Let's see if you're right. <laughs> it was his wig. It lifted the wig from the judge's head and didn't drop it back. Instead, instead, what did it do? What did it do? Who's this over here? Look here in his hand. That's mail and his bag says mail. This is the mailman. What do you think the wind is going to take next? Probably that mail. It whirled the postman's letters up as if it hadn't done enough. Another name for mailman is postman. So they're calling him the postman. So now the wind has all these things, the umbrella, the balloon, the hat, the kite, the shirt, the hanky, the wig, and now it has the mail. And over here, we have a, yeah. He looks like he's guarding maybe like the queen's house. What does he have that might blow away? 
Look up here. What is blowing in the wind? It's a flag. It blew so hard it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. Now he has to go chase the flag. And all these things are all jumbled up all together. And who's watching everything happen? See them there? These two girls, they look alike. They have similar hair, similar coats, similar scars. What do you think they are? Sisters, right? And they look alike, so they are called twins. And they're wearing these beautiful scarves that look like they're a little bit blowy. It pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them with the other things. Now there's everybody, all their things blowing, blowing, blowing. We've got the umbrella, balloon, hat, shirt, kite, hanky, wig, mail, flag, scarves. I wonder if the wind will take anything else. Oh, looky here. Somebody's watching. This man is holding something. What is that? That's a newspaper. He just got it out of this news box. And in the news it says, gale force winds. That's the big news of the day. A gale force wind is a very strong wind. <sighs> he better hold on tight. Oh, he didn't. It sent the newspapers fluttering round. Look, everything is fluttery, fluttery. Then tired of the things it found. The book is telling us that the wind is now tired of taking all those things. What is the wind going to do if it's tired of taking all those things? Is the wind going to give them back? Do you suppose? Let's see. It mixed them up. Jumble, 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 jumble. All mixed up. And threw them down. Down, down, down. Did everybody get the things that belonged to them? Nope. Look here. The girl has the groom's hat. This girl has the judge's wig. On the lady's head is the flag. This man has the lady's laundry. Nobody got the right thing. And blew away to sea. The wind blew away to the sea. Did everyone get their things back now? Yeah. He found out who had his umbrella and he got it back. She got her shirt back. The, that lady got her hanky back. The girls got their scarves back. He got his newspaper. He got the flag. He got his mail. The little boy got his kite back. Everybody got their things. naughty when it took those things? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think those people really liked that too much. It probably made them very frustrated. But look at the guy in the boat. Does he look frustrated with the wind? No. He's wearing a smile. And the little boy is wearing a smile. Why are they happy with the wind? What kind of boat?
boat is this he's in? Is it a motorboat? No, there's no motor on there making it move. It has these big sheet things called the sails. And the sails fill up with the wind. And that's what makes the boat go. So if this boat didn't have any wind, it wouldn't go. So is it a good thing for the boat? Yes, the wind is doing a good job with the boat. I wonder if it's windy outside today. I think I'm gonna go outside and check. Will you go outside and check too? Maybe you can bring something out and see if the wind steals it from you. All right, friends, it's time for me to go. I'll see you later. Bye.